Morning tubers, it's Wednesday. Let's see, uh, what's the time now? Oh, it's late in the afternoon again, dog's barking. It's all going off. Ryan's home, never went to school, didn't get in till late. Uh, dog's barking again. Mrs. shouting at the dog. Um, yeah, it's about the normal thing that goes on in the afternoon in our house. Uh, let's see who's put what up. Uh, mega crazy hillbilly, yeah, he's back. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Hey, told you he'd be back. Yeah, yeah, he's gone for one day. He soon come back, didn't he? Poo <laughs> uh, Poo Garrett, you all know Poo Poo Garrett, uh, one of Adam's friends. Uh, did a speaker smash up, always like them. You never, you never get tired with seeing him smash stuff up. Don't know why it's just the way he does it. Uh, who else have we got on here? Uh, Marcel St. Jo St. Jean put up uh, another, another romping video, and also he's opening up a second channel. Yeah, you're right, mate. A lot of people have had their channels taken down lately, haven't they? You know, it could be a good idea to have, like, an emergency backup channel. I don't know. If I'd ever make one, I don't know. Maybe. We'd have to see. Um, I like the music on there. That uh, that band's pretty pretty hot, man. They really are. There's some tracks on there that I think should be going a long, long way. Anyhow, uh, Rex 4x4, another romping video, ATVs. Hey, on your uh, your ATV, you got that. I know you got the pipes coming up on the front uh, for the air intake and that. Is that a radiator up there as well? I don't know if you did a video. I think I recall a video you was doing maybe with that. I'm not sure. Maybe you can give us an update and a walk around on that thing. You know, that'd be quite good. Um, who else? Uh, Dave's put one up. Dave's Farm Lives. Um, yeah, just a little update one. That ground dog's fat. I don't know if any of you have ever seen these videos of his ground dog. My God, that thing's fat. It should be hibernating, but it gets a bit warm, so it comes out now and again. Um, who else? Vlogging life. Got your new camera then, buddy. Hey? Got your new camera at last. Now, that was a great talk you did about cameras. Like I said, you know, and you said, well, there's the camera, the one you've got. Um, you actually explained a lot about the camera like that I'm using and uh, Billy and and park and that yeah it made sense it even made sense to me what you were saying now if i can understand that you're getting it right you're definitely getting it right i mean because usually it's like a pile of spaghetti to me i don't even know what you're on about but you definitely definitely hit the nail on the head there you really did um any of you out there you know you thinking about getting a camera and that you should uh always go on and talk to uh talk to old adam there and uh, tell him, you know, what your budget is and that, and he can tell you what sort of camera you can maybe do, what sort of videos you're going to be doing with it. You know, he knows his, knows, really knows his shit, he really does. Um, then we get to uh, one of the last videos that was put up. Uh, Mark Freeman. Well, mate, what can I say? That's got to be, without a doubt, I'd say the best bit of work you've ever done. It really is. What a great video. Great motivational video, and it's true. It really is. Now, if people look at that and they get it the wrong way around, and say it's only because you've got money, well, they've missed the whole bloody point, haven't they? Great, great video. So, any of you out there, you all know Mark Freeman's channel. Go and have a look. Tell him blokes sent you. And go and have a look at it. What a great piece of work that is. Absolutely fantastic. Um, video responses. They're all in the videos in front of this one. Um, Anybody I talk about, you can go down and you'll see their video, it's there. If there's a load of them on there, just press see all and they'll all come up on a page. And you can get the links to their sites and whatever. If you go see them, tell them bloke sent you. It's always nice. Um, the North 03, he put one up, barbecuing pork. Yeah, I've got everybody in <laughs> cooking at the moment, haven't I? Um, yeah, he did a great job. That looked really good. Barbecuing it on charcoal. Good idea having an L thermometer and that. That's, that's a nice idea. I like that one, and the mushrooms in there, and all the gravy. Yeah, it looked really good, mate. It looked yummy. It did made me hungry, and it's only the afternoon. Uh, 1969 Chevy Malibu. Now, you got a Dave's Farm video up there, um, what you put up. I've tagged it on down below, and I think you've got the authority to use it, haven't you? I mean, because you've got to watch out with a bit of copyright there. You know, I don't really know who you are, but yeah. Anyhow, and then we've got, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, we got Bona8815. He sent like, it's a sort of bit of a Christmassy video. He's in Toronto in the street there and all the Christmas stuff's out. And there's a guy doing mime. Yeah, really good. Like you said, the things you see in Toronto, eh? I've seen some weird things. 
Yeah, I have. Not people miming though. Anyhow, that's enough of me gabbing on. Um, don't know what I'm going to get up to today. Got to go out and do a few things. Uh, I'll take you with me. Um, yeah, that's about it really. Like I said, go and check out Mark Freeman's video. It's freaking fantastic. I'm going to go and watch it again. I'll speak to you lot in a little while. Right then, tubers. First things first. Got the old traveling drive for me, and we're going. Going to go down to the camera shop where I go to Henry's camera shop. And see the guy I know in there, because I'm going to see if this uh, this camera's got a hot shoe attachment on the back of it. Um, I want to get a light for it. Now I don't want to get a light that runs off the battery. Not really, because it run my battery down too quick. But I like one that I can put batteries in and then just turn it on specifically for when I'm filming in the kitchen, all right, like at night. I mean, my picture's fantastic in the daytime and that, and in the truck, if it's if it's bright enough, it's, it's a really good picture. But at night with them funny for it, well, not for essence, but those lights on, Argent. it goes all grainy, the picture. That's because it ain't got a backlight on it. So I'm gonna see if I can get one, and then we'll try it and see what it comes out like. So that's where we're gonna go first. So we're nearly there. So I'll, I'll give you a shout when I come back out. Well, went into Henry's, great shop, they've got some great stuff in there, they really have quality, good stuff, but yeah, it's expensive. Um, he didn't have any just like normal light ones, uh, he had, you can get the Canon one that goes in on the hot shoe on this, but I didn't even ask how much money that would be. Uh, what he did have though, he had these other ones that will actually clip in the hot shoe, and they're, like I said, they're not normal, um, bulbs they're LEDs so they do last a lot longer plus they're rechargeable they come with a recharger itself as well uh, but the cheapest one they've got is $89 now I don't want to spend $89 if it ain't gonna work so anyhow I'm here now look I'm at freaking Best Buy's so I'm just gonna go in there quickly and have a look and see what they've got and then I'm gonna go to the buck store I think and get a cheap one one of them clip-on little clip-on battery ones and we'll try that first and see if it takes the graininess out of it. But anyhow, that's what I want to do. I'll see you when I come out. Right, ended up a future shop. Look what they got here. It's pretty cool. It's a Dynex, I don't know. Don't know how many mag lights it is, which it won't be. But it's like a little LED one. It takes two batteries and it just goes in the hot shoe on my camera. So, I don't know. We'll give her a go later and see what it's like. For $19. It's worth trying it. I mean, everything else was like freaking lots of money, yeah? So we'll give her a go first. If it works, then I'll get a better one. You need three AA batteries. Three AA batteries. I got those at home, haven't I? Two AA batteries. Yeah. No, you, don't, you don't have triple oh, A's. Got to find some batteries now. Okay, let's go find some batteries. Well, I'm going to have to go to, uh, where are we now? We're at uh, No Frills. Our missus has gone in to uh, get more bloody shopping. Oh, it's bloody shopping all the time. And on the way, I'm going to have to go to Princess Autos. That's what they do to cheap batteries. You can get like a big box of uh, batteries down there, really cheap. I got a load, but they're bloody double A's, not triple A's. This thing takes triple A's, this light. So I'm going to go down there and get that. And then I'm going to try this when we get home. Yeah, I was thinking, Mark Freeman's video, eh? Very good video. I hope you all uh, go watch it. And I hope you'll, you know, you get the idea of what it's actually all about. Because... There's a good, uh, you know, and what the guy says, the guy that's doing the reading, I mean, you can live your life how you want to live it. You really can. I mean, I've lived mine how I want to live it. Nobody's really told me what to do since I've been 15, you know. I, I've lived it the way I've wanted to live it, and I think I've accomplished the things that I've wanted to do. I mean, I did bike racing for six years. I've done car racing. I've done all sorts of stuff, all sorts of different jobs as well. You know, I've not just stayed in a job and hated it. You know, you, you, you can live your life how you want to live it. Now, don't get it wrong by watching Mark's video and think that you need tons of money to live your life how you want to live it. The part of his video that's really good is if you listen to the reading, you can put it to anybody's life if you're having fun and you're doing what you want to do. Just because Mark's fortunate to have more money than some of us, um, it doesn't mean that it's any better. 
You know, lots of the stuff that he showed you on there, you can do. I've done most of them. I've not done skydiving, but I've done everything else. Maybe not done it as much as him, but I've done it. I've actually had a go at it and I've done it. Um, so basically the moral of this thing is that you can live a rich life without being rich. If you put your mind to it and, and work hard at it, you can. So anyhow, that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, let me know your thoughts on that. And don't mix it up with being rich because that's not what it's meant to be. I know it's not. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to get off Princess Autos in a minute and get these batteries. As soon as she comes out of here, spending a load more cash. Eh? Yeah, I'm not rich either. Right then, tubers. Uh, I've got that little light going, but the trouble is I've got to make a bracket for it. It needs to be a little bit higher up, but it's just a bit of a test. Uh, probably won't use it for the rest of this evening, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. But I think I think that'd do the job, actually. I really do. Cheap little thing. I just got to make a bracket so it so it can go up the top. I know what to do. Make a nice little one out of alley or something. Okay. Well, let's get back to what we were up to. Right. Come on. Uh, yeah, I've been messing around with that little light thing I've got. I don't know. I I don't know if I'm gonna uh, maybe take it back and get a different one. I'm not not quite sure. Or maybe try and make a bracket for this one. I don't know. I might go back and look at the other one for eighty dollars. Uh, see if it's any better, see if it's higher up, and it is a rechargeable one, so maybe I'll take this one back. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so it's going to be a little bit grainy. Um, anyhow, I came home, and uh, Ryan was here. He's gone off to the gym now, hasn't he, love? Yeah. Like he always does, uh, with his buddies. And he was watching, as I came in, he just started watching a video, and it was called, probably some of you lot have seen this, it was called Steve Jobs one last thing steve jobs one last thing and it was about an hour long and uh we sat and watched it what a freaking amazing guy that was eh just absolutely amazing you know what he did he brought us to where we are now he really did him and the other guy it, it was really good and uh yeah bill gates yeah and, and it got me thinking there's a lot of things said in there. You know, after watching Mark's video today, um, lots and lots of different things said. You know, the guy, in the end, he died of cancer. Um, and he, he, you know, he, he had that company, Pixar, you know, that made him two and a half billion dollars, yeah? I mean, and you say money? What did, what did money do for him in the end? Absolutely nothing. But there was one thing that he said, and it actually goes in with... Uh, you know, sort of, you know, that thing of what Mark Freeman did today. And it was, he said, every everything in life was made up by people no smarter than you. Everything in life was made up by people no smarter than you. You know, that actually says it, it really does. You know, everything that we use, everything that we do, nobody's any smarter than anybody else. They just thought of it yeah and made it work they had a passion for it and, and and made it happen you know there you go you can sit on your ass in your basement or you can get up and go out and do it yeah you know like like the old trouble and strife said wow you know if i had loads of money i'd like to go horse riding and i said well there's lots of different ways you can go horse riding for free you know you go down to different stables and that way they do horse riding you can muck the stables out you know for free you can help out clean the horses and they let you go for a ride, you know. You can do it. You know, there's lots and lots of different ways. Anyhow, getting away from that, let's go and have a look at what's for tea tonight, eh? You're going to go, oh, hang on, the old lights are all over you again, bloke, but there you go. So, let's have a look. The old Trouble and Strife, she's cut up some spuds. I'm going to chop them all up. They're just drying out. And this is what we're going to have for tea tonight. It's in a roasting pan. And there it is. Look. It's uh, chicken, what's it, quarters, love, isn't it? Chicken breast. Chicken breast quarters. Skin in. Skin, skin in on, and skin bone in and the whole freaking lot, yeah? It's going to be really good. We're just going to stick that in the oven. We've got to run it at 400. Don't know how long we're going to leave it in there for. We will Don't check it and see. It. And uh, there's uh, onions on it. There's 
What else to put on it? Come on, you come and tell salt them. Salt and pepper. You come and tell them. Come salt on. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Come on, come and tell them. Salt come and pepper, over. garlic, salt. No, come on, what'd you put on it? Salt and pepper, garlic, salt, yeah. and a bit of Italiano. Lovely. It's going to be great. So that's what we're going to have for tea tonight. Uh, with the old the old spuds. I want to cut them up and do them in the old bitching fryer over there. Going to get that thing out and get it going in a minute. So, anyhow, look, I'll get back to you when we get this sort of going, all right? Unless something else happens. I, I think Ryan's coming home in a minute with a couple of his buddies. If he does, and all hell might break loose again. So, anyhow, I'll get back to you in a while. Well, Tubes, uh, we got all the old dinner going. And now, the old miss has been looking at uh, some of uh, Adam's videos. She's watching one at the moment, and it's the Skaven Classics when he was up at the farm, okay? And uh, it got me thinking. Uh, you know, you like watching the old ones and the old stuff of Dave and that. Um, me and Rickham and Bobby and Skaven, when he was up that time, we made a really good video, yeah? And it was called, I think it was called the DPP Arrest, I'm not sure, right? It's like way, way back. Now, I don't know, if you want, if you want me to, it was really good. What we did, we choreographed it all. Not a good thing, right? Because we're not actors. And it looked all like funny. Bad porno. Well, we were walking along. It looked like a, a bad porno, 1970s bad porno. It's absolutely hilarious. It never really got a lot of views. I don't know why. Maybe it was a, just the time and that. But, you know, I'm thinking, if you don't want to see it, you know, let me know. And then I'll repost it this week. Save so you going and having a look. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get a few more views on it. You know, it's up to you lot. You know, let me know on that one. Anyhow. I'll get back to you in a minute. Right then, tubes. Got the old spuds all cut up. Look, all nice. These all cut up, ready to go. I'm going to put them in the old bitching fryer. Now she's hot. This is probably the best fryer in the whole world. And what I've done is I've got it on about three quarters. So she's nice and warm, okay? And then we're going to put the fries in. They're going to crack a little bit because they are a little bit wet, yeah? But this is how we do it, all right? We just put them in there, nice and gently. Shake them down, so they're under the fat. There you go, put the lid back on, like so. Okay, now, I just give them a little while, right? And uh, when they sort of start to brown a little bit, I take them out and let them rest. Then you turn it right up to like high, yeah? Then you put them back in, you double do them, then you get that nice powdery like texture in the middle and crispy on the outside. So I'll show you when I get them out, all right? They're really good, really good. I don't know what the chicken's doing, but it ain't long and it's gonna be done, all right? Right, now the old chicky's done, all right? We did it in there. You get a lot of juices come out of it. You can use that for a gravy or whatever, yeah? Uh, got the old deep fryer, she's going on the first go. Now what we do with that chicken is we put it back in at 400 for a little while and it just like, it sort of roasts, roasts it all off, yeah? It is cooked, you can see right in there, like it's, it's like clear as hell and it's nice and, what's it, yeah? So we just give it a little go back in the oven just to roast it all off and maybe make the skin go nice. Isn't that right, love? Yeah. That's how we do it, isn't it? We show them when we get it done, right? Ouch. Well, oh, okay. Right then, tubers, the old dinner's done. There you go. The old traditional roasted chicken and home fries. Chips, as we call them in England. Everybody's been saying, bloke, call them chips. Yeah, they're chips. There you go, this old bloke's plate. Look, he's got, oh, actually, he's got one and a half, eh? And some chips. Chips are really good. You do them in that, in that, that fryer I got, they are amazing, they're really good. I could have done them a little bit longer. They're, yeah, I could have done them just a little bit longer, they'd have been a bit more crispy on the outside, but they're really good. So anyhow, listen, what I was gonna say, um, any of you people out there, you got any good recipes and that for like dinners and stuff and that, you know, send them to me. Cause I'd like to, you know, do my spin on it and try and cook them and cook them the way that you cook them, yeah? So send me one, tell me what you do. And I'll go along with the old recipe, and we'll put them up on YouTube, yeah? All right. Anyhow, I've got to go. 
I'm bloody hungry, it's all ready, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.